Our lesson today is on galaxies and other components of the universe. Edwin Hubble is credited with being the first person to identify groups of stars as a galaxy. Hubble began studying an object in space that he called a fuzzy star. He discovered that the fuzzy star was what was not one singular object, but millions of dots of light. This group of stars became known as a galaxy. Hubble discovered many galaxies during his lifetime, including our closest neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, which is about 2.5 million light years away. Hubble classified galaxies into three main categories, spiral, elliptical, and irregular. Spiral galaxies look like flat disks with spiral arms and bulges in their center core. Many appear to be shaped like a pinwheel or a hurricane. Some spiral galaxies have what appears to be a bar of light running through the middle of the galaxy. These spiral galaxies are called barred galaxies, or barred spiral galaxies. The Milky Way galaxy is an example of a spiral galaxy. The spiral is the most common shape of galaxies. Elliptical galaxies are more rounded, like a football or an egg. Galaxies that appear neither spiral nor elliptical are classified as irregular because they do not have a definite shape. The universe is huge. We have a hard time imagining the space involved in the universe. One of the most prominent features of the universe is a galaxy. While galaxies are composed of billions of stars, most of the matter found in the galaxy is not seen because it does not produce or reflect light. Even though galaxies are easy to detect, they only compose about 1% of all the matter in the universe. Nebulas. A nebula is a cloud of hydrogen gas and dust also found in a galaxy. Nebula is thought to originate from the Greek word nephos, which means cloud. The plural of nebula is nebulae. Nebulae are considered the birthplace of stars. These cosmic clouds can also form when the largest stars explode in a supernova. Many nebula have unusual shapes. Nebula usually do not produce light or any other type of energy, so they are not easily detected. Sometimes we see a nebula when a star's energy passes through or reflects off the nebula. We would not be able to detect nebula without starlight from stars inside what helps to illuminate them. Stars Stars are a common component of the universe. Stars come in all kinds of sizes and colors. The size of a star helps determine its stage within its life cycle. The color of a star helps scientists determine its outer temperature. Stars shine because hydrogen atoms are fused into helium atoms. Leftover energy is given off in the form of electromagnetic radiation. Scientists studying stars use special telescopes that detect the different types of electromagnetic radiation. Quasars. When scientists look as far into the universe as their telescopes will focus, they find small areas of intense light. At first thought to be stars, these areas are now known as quasars. Quasar means star-like. When these objects are tiny, they give off tremendous amounts of light, more so than galaxies. 
Many scientists believe quasars are the cores of galaxies located at the edge of our universe. The large red shifts of quasars imply that they are very distant objects in the universe. Besides being the farthest objects in the universe, they are also the brightest. Other objects in space. Many objects in space do not emit or reflect visible light. We can detect many of these objects in space by other types of electromagnetic radiation that are given off. For example, some black holes can be detected, detected by x-rays. Other objects, such as pulsars or spinning neutron stars, can be detected by the beams of radiation given off as the stars spin at high speeds. From Earth, it appears that the energy seems to pulse on and off, much like a lighthouse's light appears to blink on and off. Protostars, or stars that are in the process of being formed, give off tremendous amounts of heat, but very little light. Using special infrared telescopes, scientists can determine where a new star might form. Scientists believe only a small percentage of all the matter in the universe has been detected. Most matter in the universe does not give off any form of energy. Scientists gain information about the composition, density, and distance of galaxies, stars, and other objects in space using spectroscopes and specialized telescopes to examine each object's electromagnetic spectrum.